Hi, I'm Barry Fox with Camelback Toyota, and today we're going to be demonstrating the navigation system on the Entune 2.5 system. In this case, we're going to be demonstrating it on a 2018 Tacoma. To access the navigation function, you Push the Apps hard button and select Navigation. That will take you into the navigation screen. To program a destination, push the Destination button, select Address. We are going to change the state to Arkansas. Select your city. In this case, we're going to pick Nashville, Arkansas. Now it's going to ask you for a street name and you do not want to type too quickly uh, because it will self-populate and if you type too quickly you will actually over type. And then select your house number and push OK and then push Go. Now this will take you to a selection screen uh, where you can pick different routes. Now the navigation system will always default to the quick route and the quick route will always be the one with the most freeway. Now that may or may not be the way you actually want to go. So if you push the button that says three routes, you'll see that there are actually some choices you can make and in this case we can take the southern route or we can take the northern route. And we're going to go ahead and take the southern route so we'll pick the quick route and we're going to push Please OK. Please to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. And that's it. We have started navigating. If you zoom out, eventually you'll be able to get out far enough to see your entire route. So if you want to turn the navigation off, you just go back into destination and you push delete destination it'll ask you to confirm that you just shut the navigation off now every address you program into the navigation will be stored so if you go into previous destinations there's your address now if you will never go back to that address and you don't want it cluttering up your list of previous destinations you can actually select the delete button Pick the one you want to delete and delete it out of the memory. It will ask you to confirm it. Now when you go into previous destinations, there are no previous destinations. The other thing that you can do with the navigation is you can go into destinations and select points of interest. And in this case, we're going to look for, uh, let's look for restaurants right around Camelback Toyota. So we're going to select near here and we will go to dining and we'll pick all and you can see as you scroll down there's a list of all the restaurants that are relatively close to the dealership. Now let's just pick one. Let's go to Roman's Pizza. If, see it populates it on the navigation and if you push go it will actually automatically program the nav to Please take you there. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. Once again, if you wish to delete the destination, just push the delete button and confirm it. And then you can go back and you can go into previous destinations and delete that from your memory if you so choose. And that is basically all there is to the navigation. The compass button allows you to change the orientation of your map. This particular orientation is, uh, we'll put north at the top of the screen. Uh, this puts the direction you're facing at the top of the screen and the third view is a 3D view looking in from a 45 degree angle that will always put the direction you're facing at the top of the screen. Uh, the orientation that you select will probably depend on where you are and what you're doing. 
uh, you'll find that there are some cases where having north at the top of the screen may be more useful and other cases where having the direction that you're facing is more useful. But the navigation is very simple to use, very intuitive, and uh, you really can't make a mistake with it.